Hey lovelies, today I'll be teaching you how to make these oxtail steam buns. If you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe and turn your post notifications on. So this is a pound of oxtail. I've already washed my oxtail and you know trimmed it up just a little and I've removed like the meat from the bones as much as I could because you're going to want it like that to add it to your buns to make the whole steam buns. So let's season this. First you're going to need a quarter teaspoon of salt. You don't need more than that. Add your salt right over it. Next, I'm going in with a quarter to a half teaspoon of black pepper. Then, two tablespoons of all-purpose seasoning. And I'm just eyeballing everything here, guys. You can use your favorite seasonings. Next, I'm going in with a teaspoon of onion powder. Next, a teaspoon of garlic powder. Then, a teaspoon of chives. All right, so once you go in with all the dried seasonings, now it's time for the fresh seasonings. Scotch bonnet pepper, bell pepper, garlic, ginger, onion, pimento seeds. Just add those all in. I like using a blend of dry and fresh seasonings. All right, next I'm going to add in two tablespoons of green seasoning and that has some thyme leaves in there. That's why, I, because I don't have fresh thyme leaves. Next, I'm going in with a teaspoon of browning. Now, the browning is optional. If you don't want to use browning, you can brown your oxtail by using the sugar method, but I just want to use the browning for this. Then, it should look just like this. Smelling good and looking good. Now on to cooking this up. Here I'm adding a tablespoon of oil to my pot. You don't need more than a tablespoon of oil. And remember you can leave your oxtail to marinate overnight or just a few hours before you cook it. Alright so in my pot now I'll go with the oxtail piece by piece. Because it's not a lot I just want to kind of sear the pieces on both sides but if you're cooking oxtail in a large batch then you won't have time to do this really but it's not a lot so I'm just going to add them in a piece by piece sear them on each side and these are smelling this is smelling real good already guys Alright, so once you add them in, you just get a little color on each side and then you flip it. Real easy. Alright, nice and lovely. Cover that for about 3 minutes. Then you turn these over. It has a nice brown color on two sides, on both sides so you know it's all good. At this point, you should have some hot water right beside your oxtails getting ready. And on that seasoning from the container in which it was sitting, you just add the hot water, then you just pour everything in. Lovely. Once you add all that hot water in to cover your oxtail, you're just going to move everything around and then you're going to cover your pot and allow that to cook. You're going to add water to cover your oxtail three times and this is the first time cover this up leave it to cook then we're going to move on to making the dough the buns so first things first i'm going to add two te two teaspoons of active dry yeast in a container next a tablespoon of sugar and to mix this all up three quarter cups of warm water you don't need hot water for this warm is good enough then you just mix everything up you want to get this nice and activated so once you do this you just leave it for about one to two minutes then it should look something like this and you know it's ready so here I have two and a half cups of flour and a pinch of salt 
Next, I'm going in with four teaspoons of sugar, then a teaspoon of baking powder, and a teaspoon of oil. Use the oil of your choice. I'm using vegetable oil. Then I'm going in with that activated yeast. It's nice and frothy, so you know it's ready. You can just add that all in. It is enough. Well, you might need just a little more water. So here I'm going in with a spoon a little just to mix everything around. Then once I do that, then I'm just going to go in with my hand and knead the floor. You can, if you have like an electric door needle or something like that, you can just use that, but I'm just using my hand to make the dough. And if you're wondering if the dough is sweet, no, it's not. The sugar helps to kind of give it a different flavor, but it's not sweet at all. All right, so here I thought the flour was a bit dry. So I added about two tablespoons of water to this. Two tablespoons of warm water and it was just, just fine. That was perfect actually. So continue kneading this until it looks like this. Then you add just about a teaspoon or less of oil to the container in which this will be resting and knead the dough a little bit more then you just cover this and leave it then move back on to your ox tail so this is the that was the first set of the first water that i added to this now this is what it looks like the meat is not ready at all right now so you're just going to move everything around you know ensure that it's not sticking to your pot then you add some more boiling water only hot water you want to add to your ox tail do not add cold water, all right? So add that water all in, and then you just cover your pot. And then after that second water, after it kind of boils down some more, you try to, you know, taste your oxtail. Is it tender? Is it getting nice and soft? And does it need more, more dried seasoning? It doesn't need any more dry seasoning at all. And it's getting soft but it's not yet there so I'm going to add some more things to the pot and some more hot water this will be the last hot water that I'm adding to it and then it will be perfect really really soft after this but before I add the water I'm going to add to this some green seasoning just a tablespoon more of green seasoning as I said this doesn't need any more dried seasoning it's it was a well seasoned remember you can always leave your oxtail overnight to marinate or since it's cooking for so long you could just go ahead and cook this right away now add in the hot water next i'm going to go in with some carrots and because i'm going to i'm making steam buns you don't need to add any broad beans to this any potatoes or anything like that because the carrots will go well with the steam buns but i don't think the broad beans will go well with it all right so just cover this and allow it to cook down nicely and then once it has cooked down then you can add some ketchup this is quite optional this is a tablespoon of ketchup you don't need to add more than this because you don't want your oxtail to be sweet but you know the ketchup can it can enhance the flavor of the gravy but do not add too much so once you add the ketchup you just mix everything around and you cover that pot back and you just leave this to cook down just a little bit more see how thick the gravy is it could have been just as thick without the ketchup so if you don't like the idea of having the ketchup in your oxtail then you definitely don't need to add it so cover that up and then a few minutes later just turn your stove off oxtail nice and ready all you need to do is just leave it to cool down because you're going to need the pieces for your buns now back to the dough so my dough was nice and puffy but sorry guys i didn't capture that part so i'm just going to knead it a little bit more now it's very soft really really soft i'm telling you so just knead it a little for a little bit longer 
knead it for a few minutes like about two minutes then you divide it into however many pieces you want to I divided mine in about eight and then you just roll them into some balls roll them into some circles once you do that use your rolling pin and you roll those those circles out to get some flat circles that is and ensure that the ends of these are very thin the ends are thinner than the middle parts all right and then you should have something looking like you know looking like these so here in china steam buns are a big thing and i'm going to try to make my steam buns the way they're made here in china um i don't think i will get it exactly because this is my first time trying to imitate this kind of style but here goes so you add some of the oxtail in the middle of the the dough that you rolled out and then you try to keep it in your palm and then you squeeze the ends of the dough while kind of keeping them together and using your thumb to keep that meat in the center all right and then you kind of make a circle while you're going around still kind of to keep the bun nice and round while you're going you know while you're pinching the edges all right this one came out really nice but it was kind of hard to imitate exactly how the chinese they do it here but if you don't want to do all that fancy stuff all you need to do put your oxtail in the middle of the thing that the dough that you rolled out and then you just pull all the edges together you seal it just pinch it together to seal it then you put it in the palm of your hands and you kind of roll it roll it gently you know to have the the bun intact and there you have it a nice bun your oxtail is right in the middle ready to steam so to steam these i'm going to be using my rice cooker because it comes with a steamer um, i was already placing them inside but i took them out and added some oil to the steamer because you don't want them to stick all right so for these circular ones you need to put the circular side up and the the, the edges that you kind of seal downwards right and the other ones you put the fancy tops upward you call you cover these and you leave these to steam for like eight minutes and voila you have to give them enough space in the steamer because they are going to expand but the finished product this is what it looks like these are nice and warm you just pop open your steamed buns and voila your nice oxtail is inside really yummy guys the, the bun is nice and soft and the oxtail really yummy guys let me tell you you should definitely try this recipe it is a different way for you to have your oxtail you know and the curl the ones with the pleated edges they never came out that bad they were looking good but trust me they were tasting so yummy with that oxtail inside and you know you can dip your bun in your oxtail gravy have a piece of oxtail with it really really nice of course let me know what you guys think about this recipe if you like the video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up share the video subscribe to the channel turn your post notifications on visit my website at romanskitchen.net thank you so much for watching until next video.